Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discover Cross Hermitage Appellation. So Cross Hermitage is located in the northern part of the Rhone Valley region, or we call it Rhone Septentrional. The vineyard itself extends over 11 communes, or cities, uh, located in the Drôme department, on the left bank of the Rhone River, and to the north, south and east of the town of Tain l'Hermitage. So the origin of the appellation Croze Hermitage takes the name from two toponyms. Uh, the first is Croz, which is derived by crucem, which basically means cross in Latin, or crossroad. The second Hermitage comes from Eremitagium, uh, which gave Hermitage in French. It refers to the hill overlooking the Rhône, at the top of which the knight of Sterimbert, returning from the crusade, settled there to live as a hermit. Many proofs attest, on the one hand, to the presence of Romans around the town of Tain l'Hermitage, and therefore the entirety of the cultivation of vines and wine production in the Rhone Valley at this time. The Croix Hermitage appellation was created in 1937 and was limited to a single town because of the nobility acquired and thanks to a few plots retained in AOC Hermitage. And it was not until 1952 that the decree included the 10 other surrounding municipalities. It was only after the extension of the appellation that the vineyard developed. As regards this climate, the very extensive Croix Hermitage vineyard is subject to a double influence. To the north it is temperate, with an almost permanent wind that dries the air along the Rhone Corridor, bringing good weather and freshness in summer. It also brings freezing cold in winter. Coming from the south, it generally announces the arrival of stormy disturbances. Going to the south, the influence of the Mediterranean climate is also felt. The high level of sunshine is coupled with hot, dry summers. The winters are cold without excess, which is synonym to a semi-continental type of climate. Uh, the rainfall is moderate and the rains are particularly heavy in the end of the summer. So as regards the soil, the vineyard is vast and the soils are quite diverse. The most important part, located to the south and east of Tain l'Hermitage, is made of thick layers of roll gravels mixed with red clay and forming relatively flat relief called plateau or terraces. On the northwest, there are lands with fairly steep hillside relief. Towards Larnage and Croix Hermitage, it is a stony terrace covered with loess or white kaolin sand. The northern municipalities are granite soils also covered with loess. So famous producers are quite numerous in this region. Uh, we can count for example Le Chapoutier with the Croix Hermitage Les Maisonniers, Gigal, Ferraton and more. So the production of wine in the region is 90% of red with the grape variety Syrah and 10% of white using Marsan and Roussal. For the reds, Syrah offers a nice balance between fruit and tannins. Gourmet and tender, their color is garnet red and their nose is composed of red fruits and floral aromas. Cross Hermitage reds are fresh in the first years and it acquires over the years more animal notes of spices and leather. Those wines are great to pair with venison, with poultry, a rabbit also, and uh, some cocots. They will go really well with this famous local cheese which is the saint marcelin as the wine age, it will go really well with duck and red meats. The gene potential of Croix Hermitage Red is 2 to 10 years, but of course, uh, more for some wineries and some uh, vintages. As regards the whites, uh, from Marsan and Roussan, as we mentioned, those have a beautiful golden color. They are very aromatic and quite generous and, I would say, fat on the palate, uh, but dry and balanced. We note some floral nose uh, that conceal hints of dried fruits. Croix Hermitage White are great to enjoy for the aperitif. Uh, they can be drunk on their own, but also they can go really well with grilled fish, for example, a pan seared trout filet, but also uh, it can go really well with uh, simple dishes as airing with olive oil. The aging potential is two to five years, and sometimes more for some of the wineries and vintages. So thank you for watching this video about uh, Croix Hermitage. We hope you liked it, and see you next time for another video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.